Let's take a look at the try one more. Tyson solved this equation, 345 plus 428, and he got an answer of 743. Round to the nearest hundred and then solve to determine whether or not his answer is reasonable. Nice job on this try one more. I saw so many friends accurately round 428 by identifying 400 and 500 as the two hundreds that are numbers in between, labeling 450 as our midpoint, and then rounding 428 down to 400 because it was below 450. Nice work. I want us to take a closer look at some work for rounding 345. Here I have work from a student A and student B. If we are rounding to the nearest hundred, which friend accurately rounded 345 and why? Go ahead and say your answer out loud. I heard friends say they agree with student A because student A identified the two hundreds that our number 345 was in between. What mistake did student B make? Say it out loud. That's exactly right. Student B identified the two multiples of 10, the number 345 was in between. But this problem asks us to round to the nearest 100. Let's make sure as we round numbers, we're checking carefully to see which place value we should be rounding to. How did student A identify the midpoint? Go ahead and say your answer out loud. Yes. I heard friends say that 350 is the midpoint because if you add 50 to 350, you get to 400. And if you take 50 away from 350, you get to 300. We know that 50 is half of 100. Why did we round this number down to 300? Say your answer out loud. Yes, that's right. 345 rounds down to 300 because 345 is less than our midpoint of 350. We know if our number is below the midpoint, we round down. Nice work. Now that we've rounded 345 and 428, have we solved the problem? Evaluate. No, not yet. Our question asks us to round to the nearest hundred and then solve to determine whether or not Tyson's answer is reasonable. Let's try it because our numbers have been rounded to multiples of 100, this makes addition really easy. 400 plus 300 is, say it out loud. Yes, 700. 700 is close to 743. So do we think that Tyson's answer is reasonable? Say it out loud. Yes, Tyson's answer is reasonable because 743 is pretty close to 700. How did rounding help us determine whether or not his answer was reasonable? Yes, that's right. 
Rounding helped us decide whether or not Tyson's answer was reasonable because we were able to round 345 and 428 to the nearest hundred, which gave us numbers that were multiples of hundreds and easier to work with. We could quickly add to figure out whether or not his answer was reasonable.